welcome to the Mission San Luis Way. My name is Adeli and I am a Lucinio Indian girl. Today I'm going to tell you about my mission. Mission San Luis Rey de Francia, King of the Missions, was founded June 13, 1798 by Friar Fermin Francisco de Lasuen. King Louis IX was King of France and led crusades to the Holy Land. This is Father Pyre. He was in charge of building the mission. He was there for 34 years. The mission was made of adobe brick and wooden timbers. It was the largest building in California until the mid-1800s. It is the only mission with a wooden dome and a cupola. Inside the cupola, the friars lit a lamp to light at night so any travelers could find the mission. This is a model of our mission San Luis Rey, and two things about this model is that the outside buildings are built into a square shape and a square shape is a quadrangle shape, and that the church is built into a shape of a cross. This is one of the original arches of the quadrangle. Mission San Luis Rey is now in the city of Oceanside in Southern California. There are more than 3,000 Indians living at the mission where the friars taught us many things. This is a typical room for a friar. They have a bed, a little pot to wash their face, and an altar to pray. Our people were hunters and gatherers, but when the mission was built, the friars taught us how to make candles and spin a wool into yarn. This is a kitchen found inside the mission. My tribe grew grapes, oranges, olives, wheat, and corn. Mission San Luis Rey had over 22,000 head of cattle and over 27,000 sheep. These are matates. We use them to grind seeds and acorns. This is, an, this is an example of our Franciscan friars here at the mission. This is the chapel where all of the painting and decorations were done by the Lucinio Indians. The friars preached from the pulpit to the Indians and taught them Catholicism. Here is where the baptism occurred. The next era at the mission was Mexican secularization. Mexico won independence from Spain in 1821. The mission was to be given back to the Indians. However, many authorities took land and livestock. This is where the Spanish soldiers and their families lived at the mission. U.S. troops were also stationed here during the Mexican-American War from 1846 to 1848. The American military was at the mission from 1847 to 1857. The Mormon battalion was stationed there. In 1850, the Catholic Bishop of California asked for the return of the mission. This is the original document signed by President Abraham Lincoln returning Mission San Luis Rey to the Catholic Church on March 18, 1865. Soon after, the mission was abandoned for 50 years. In 1892, a group of Franciscans needed a place, so Father Joseph Jeremiah O'Keefe brought them there to rebuild the mission. The exterior was restored and continues to be an active church today. These are the four flags that represent countries who own the mission, the United States, Mexico, and Spain. This is the opening to the cemetery. Spanish cemeteries had a skull and crossbones at the entrance. This is the Indian Memorial. This monument was built in California in 1830 in memory of all Indians that were buried here in the cemetery. Yes. This 
is the oldest pepper tree in California brought by Father Pyrie from Peru in 1830. The TV show Zero was filmed here in the 1950s. This is the door that they put on the church in the film. This is the kiln where they made the adobe bricks. covered 15 miles in every direction. Today it is surrounded by homes and businesses while still an active church. The quadrangle is now only 15 arches long from the original 32. It is home to Franciscans and it is a, and it is a retreat center. Mission San Luis Rey continues to thrive as king of the missions.